Here you can see I'm getting really close to the end of my first bag and I want to stop and attach a new bag to the handles of this bag before I have to wrap part of the handle. So I can see I'm getting really close. It's time for me to attach a new bag. So here's how this works. Here are the handles from the bag I started with. That's what's at the end right here. It's two handles. I want those two handles to be lined up together. I'm going to get a second bag. I'm going to smooth this one out. Again, starting with the ends, the end, the bottom of the bag right here. You see, I've got the bottom. And I'm using a different kind of bag just so you can see the way they get joined together. I'm smoothing it out. So just the same way I started. The end of the bag is on the right, and the handles on the left. I'm going to fold this bag in half. all that pattern distracting. Okay, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold the center of the bag up in half as well. So now it's in quarters. You can see at the other end, it's all smooth flat with the handle sticking out. And I'm going to make sure that my folded flaps are at the top. And then it's just one fold on the bottom. I'm going to cut a little slit, a couple inches, it's like two inches from the end. And the slit's going to go halfway across this folded bag. So you can see it's about halfway. And I'm going to open it back up so that it's only folded in half. And this is the end of my bag. And so I've essentially made an extra handle. The old handle is going to come up through the slot. And then the new bag, the new bag handles are coming up through the old handle. So now the two bags are attached together. And I like to, I don't pull it really tight because that makes a lump in my coil basket. I like to leave them kind of loose so that I can roll up any loose bits of the plastic bag, I can roll them up into the end of the new bag so that when I have to start wrapping over this, I'll just keep going as if this bag was all one piece. Um, some of my students have found that it's if you put a little piece of masking tape just to hold it together right here, that helps, but I like to just use the, the grocery bag so that it's more recycled material. And then this part it's going to get squeezed down to make one coil, and you'll just keep continuing, continuing to the end of the bag. You can keep going infinitely forever, just attaching one bag to an old bag you've been working on, as long as you keep leaving the handles at the end, and then using the end of the new bag together.